All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I know y'all probably looking at me like, whoa, why is your hair like that? This my real hair. I know y'all probably like, hey, yeah, nigga, whatever. All right, man, look. So today we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about uh, Kendrick Lamar winning all these awards. You know what I'm saying? At the BT Awards. And um, I got a lot to say on this topic because I think that uh, I'll, I'll explain a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so let's get to it. You know, this is Torture Talk. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you, if you are on the fence, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal is in the description. You know what I'm saying? Let me know where you're from, too. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000. Should soon to be 12,000. So, yeah, so we're going to get right to it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so this comes courtesy of The Ville. We love The Ville over here. Shout out to The Ville, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to him, man. We're trying to help him get over 10,000 subscribers as well. You know what I'm saying? So go subscribe to The Ville. He breaks down a lot of good stuff, man. He has really good videos. And um, yeah, man, The Ville is a, a big reason why a lot of big YouTubers are big. He should have a million subscribers. I'm not even going to lie. So should I. But uh, yeah, so let's get to it. On y'all, hope everybody's having a good day. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and let's get into it, man. Now, as you may or may not know, the Hip Hop Awards were yesterday and the results are in. Many artists showed up for the awards, many artists pulled up to perform, and many artists were nominated, some nominated more than others. And this highly anticipated award ceremony did not disappoint. With performances from artists like Fat Joe, E-40, Boss Man D-Lo, that kept the crowd entertained as the night went on, the awards went on and people couldn't be more ecstatic. Many people can already speculate who the winner was going to be, but that didn't stop the people from celebrating the rightfully earned awards. So let me stop it there. Um, yeah, I'm glad it stopped on here. So you see here, Kendrick Lamar wins eight awards from the 2024 BET Hip Hop Awards. Uh... I got a lot to say on this. Also, too, um, I've seen people online talking about it looked like some some club venue and all this stuff. Like sometimes we just have to appreciate things for what it is. But this is more a hate towards him when when people talk about uh, what the venue looked like because everything centered around Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Even like hip hop is centered around him right now. So him winning all these awards is a big deal. And some people really hate it, but we're going to let him finish it. We're going to get to it. I got a lot to say. Let's go. As Kendrick Lamar comes in and successfully obtains eight wins at the award show, a phenomenal feat for the rapper who's had an incredible year. Things kicked off with Kendrick Lamar this year when he came out with his verse like that where he featured on Future and Metro Boomin's collaborative album, We Don't Trust You. Also where Kendrick won the award for Sweet 16, best featured verse for his part on Like That. Of course, not to leave out Future and Metro won the award for best duo slash group, but all three of these artists got to walk away with an award together when all three won an award for best collaboration for the song like that as well. But the victories don't stop there for Kendrick Lamar as he also won award for Lyricist of the Year, followed by his win with his good friend Dave Free as they both walked away with the award for Video Director of the Year, which can be the reason why they won this next award for best hip hop video for the video Not Like Us. Not Like Us won the award for Impact Track, but if that wasn't enough, Not Like Us also won the award for Song of the Year, something some fans predicted Kendrick would win before the start of the ceremony. And last but not least, Kendrick Lamar wins Hip Hop Artist of the Year, beating the other nominated artists in the categories such as Drake, 21 Savage, Cardi B, Future, Glorilla, Megan Thee Stallion, and Nicki Minaj. Let's not... So, okay. I got to I got some questions about that. How is Cardi B artist of the year? 
How is Nicki Minaj Artist of the Year? Now, none of these people, maybe we talk, if we're talking about the diss tracks, Bigfoot, and I don't know what Cardi did. I don't know what she did, but I don't think she dropped anything. Now, Meg, she did her thing. She just believe Meg dropped the album, and she dropped a couple of diss tracks. How is the other two in there? Like, how is Cardi B and, and, and Nicki Minaj in the best, the best artist of the year award? So let's just say, for example, right? I can understand why Drake would be in there. I can understand why 21 Savage could be in there. I can understand why Gorilla would be in there. But why would they, them other, in, in Meg, I can understand them, but why would the other two be in there? They haven't done anything. But let's keep it going. Drake, 21 Savage, Cardi B, Future, Glorilla, Megan The Stallion, and Nicki Minaj. Let's not forget to mention Alchemist won two awards. He walked away with two victories, one for DJ of the Year and winning another for Producer of the Year. In a way, this was a success for Alchemist and his work he did on Meet the Grams, as well as the other collaborations and productions he's been working on this year. The crazy part about all this, however, is Kendrick won all of these awards without even being in attendance, but this didn't stop from people feeling his presence there. It's safe to say that even though Kendrick wasn't there, it didn't take away the fact that these awards had nothing but positive vibes for the Not Like Us rapper. Shouts out to all the winners at the award show and all the artists who performed. What do y'all think of the awards? And let me bring this up just to make a point. Because I know people are going to say it anyways. Many people feel like these award shows aren't what make an artist great. The accolades are amazing to have, but people feel like this isn't what makes an artist. Kendrick is one of the best artists of our generation. And even if he didn't win anything, it wouldn't change my mind at all. I'm That's a fact. That's a fact. Kendrick Lamar is the best artist of this generation. Matter of fact, I would go as far as saying Kendrick Lamar is one of the best artists of all time. But what he's speaking is facts. Glad someone like Kendrick Lamar is being recognized for all his hard work. I know that people always say that the awards don't matter and that they shouldn't judge an artist based on the success of the awards that they win. But it feels good to see Kendrick win with Not Like Us being Song of the Year. I tried to tell others who disagree that Not Like Us is going to win by a landslide. And I'm glad other people such as Alchemists are being granted these awards. I'm just saying that these artists will still be my GOATs, even if they weren't even nominated. So what do y'all think? Y'all think the awards are pointless, or do you feel like it holds weight? Either way, I'm glad Kendrick won, and I salute him for all his victories. To sum it up, I guess I could say, it's not the awards that make you great, but the love that you get that exceeds the hate. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video, man. All right, make sure y'all go subscribe to the Veil. Good video. See, here's the thing, right? This is what I take from award shows. See, award shows are very important because they're a staple in time because a lot of times people think that award shows are bullshit. They think that because people get these awards that they don't mean anything. You have to understand, usually, I would say 99% of the time, artists that gets awards, for the most part, are pretty good artists. Unless, unless there is a flood of artists who are, isn't really good and they don't have really anybody to nominate. So, for example, if they have like maybe a year where a lot of good good artists didn't come out, but there was some artists that came out. But usually, usually, there might be some artists who get nominated because they either stream high or sold a lot. But for people to say that accolades don't mean anything in hip-hop is so disrespectful and disgusting to me. So you're basically saying people don't shouldn't be rewarded for their hard work. Now, there are some artists who don't work hard and gets awards, but there's also artists who work hard who don't get awards, but there's artists who work hard and get awards. Now, I didn't know that 
there's a certain budget you have to have to get into these award shows. I didn't know that. Now, that may, that may be the reason why a lot of artists that are really good ain't getting nominated. That could be a reason. But it doesn't take away the fact that Not Like Us is a groundbreaking record. It's a groundbreaking record. It's a diss track, but it went to the point where it was like a regular song. And, and, and to be honest with you, that could probably work in Drake's favor in a way because even though he's getting called all type of things, people are looking at it as if it was oversaturated, like it's overdone. Me personally, I don't look at it like that. I think he smoked him with that and there was nothing else to it. But when you look at the other side of people who hate the song, they hate the song because it's so big because they feel like it's coming off the fact that he dissed Drake. But as far as the awards go, there's really nothing you can say to a person who is a good artist who gets awards. You can't say anything. You could try to, you could try to say, well, just because he got an award doesn't make him a good artist. But ask yourself, and everybody, all these Kendrick haters out here, I see people putting up all types of uh, things, talking about uh, uh, why he, he, he won and this is crazy and the BET Awards should be ashamed of themselves and they corny for this. I find it funny that a person who is representing hip hop to the fullest, everything he does is, is based around what hip hop should be, how real hip hop is. I find it real funny that y'all going against that. All you people out here who's going against that, y'all just, y'all, to me, y'all the worst hypocrites. Y'all the, y'all like the, the cream of the crap, the bad, the worst you can think of hypocrites. It's so crazy to me how you would sit there and pretend because he got your boy out of here. You so upset that this man has won all these awards. Oh, he won off of Drake's name. He got the award off of Drake's name. If it wasn't for Drake, he wouldn't have won these awards. And this is how you know people are just retarded. Kendrick Lamar won awards without dissing Drake. He has a lot of awards. He has more Grammys than Drake. And before Drake even, before Drake even, I know it's hard to hard to figure out. I know it's hard to understand, but he has more awards than Drake. But, but, but what I don't understand is you have to respect when someone good wins an award because you have to appreciate their work. For some reason, when it comes to hip hop, everybody always saying, well, hip hop, the Grammys don't get hip hop respect. Or the Grammys then, they don't respect. That's why I don't like the Grammys because they don't give hip hop respect. And I and I laugh because I say, well, for the last for the last 10 to 15 years, the Grammys been doing nothing but hip hop, mostly hip hop. And this award here is literally the BT Hip Hop Awards. And you sitting here saying that they're corny because Kendrick Lamar won the song. Even though his song is the most recognizable, his song was the biggest, his song was the most streamed, his song stayed on, on the Billboard 100 for what, I don't know how many weeks, for multiple weeks. His song broke records on YouTube, Spotify, broke records. But for some reason, y'all don't think that that song should have been nominated. What song should have been nominated then? If this song is breaking all these records, how can you say that this man is hip hop and he deserves everything he gets? But then when it comes to awards, he don't deserve it because it's a diss song. What difference does it make? It's something he created, whether it's a diss song or not. It's like, what is this, what is this narrative now that because something is a diss song, it shouldn't be nominated? Why? Why shouldn't that be nominated? It's a song. It's a hip hop song. And on top of that, hip hop is a sport. It's a blood sport, correct? So why is it that I know why it is? Because it's this and Drake. Because if this was anybody else, y'all wouldn't care. If this was somebody, if this was Drake flipped on Kendrick and he did a song, this and Kendrick like this, and he got awards, I could guarantee all y'all wouldn't have, y'all wouldn't have a problem with it. Y'all wouldn't even have a problem with it. Y'all be like, this is crazy. I can't believe this. Y'all wouldn't have a problem with it. 
But now y'all, y'all, to me, it just seems like y'all just have, I don't know where all this Kendrick hate came from. I don't know if it's, if it's, if it's because y'all, y'all, y'all jealous of the man because he's so successful and he didn't do it the, 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 the way that Drake did it. I don't understand it. I don't understand y'all because y'all, because y'all got this narrative from, from, um, Adam 22 and, and DJ academics and Aiden, y'all got this narrative that he thinks he's a messiah. And then when you ask people, did you ever listen to Kendrick? They'll say no. Some of them like, I never even heard a Kendrick album. Oh, he ain't just ain't my taste. Okay, that's cool. But you can't judge the man off. And then you have to ask yourself too. How is it that he's doing all this? How's he winning all these things? He's a great artist, but how is he winning all these awards? You have to ask yourself that. Maybe it's because he's actually pretty good. A lot of y'all can't stand the fact that He's sweeping everything. He's going to do the same thing at the Grammys too. He's going to sweep that too. And I know y'all going to be upset about that. But y'all hate the Grammys though. I don't understand. Why does it matter? If you guys hate awards, y'all hate award shows, y'all, they, they all trash, right? Y'all, they all trash, y'all hate award shows. If y'all hate award shows and they all trash, then why does it matter if Kendrick won all the awards? Y'all don't like the award shows anyway. Why does it matter? Why does it matter if he wins if he wins the uh, the the uh the Grammy Awards? Why does it matter if he does the Super Bowl? Y'all don't even like football, remember? Y'all hate football. Why do y'all care? That's the question I have. Cuz it's like whenever somebody that that you don't like gets an award, y'all get y'all have a problem with it. But y'all had no problem with with Drake being nominated or getting awards at, when he was getting them. Y'all didn't care. Y'all bigged it up. The Grammys is a Drake got 10 Grammys. Yes. It's crazy to me. So I don't understand the whole, the whole, uh, the logic behind hating this man because he won all his awards. And then y'all big up guys like this. You see this? This is, this is what y'all big up. This right here. Now, and again, I ain't cracking on people who, who are uh, uh, from that community. It is what it is. But at the same time, come on, man. And don't y'all jump in my comments talking about, so are you wearing a, are you wearing a jury curl afro? Yeah, but I ain't got my lips poked out. I ain't got ponytails either, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, man. Good morning to y'all. Y'all have a good morning. All right, I'm out of here, man. I'll see y'all. See y'all, peace, bye. Go get y'all some, some breakfast, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And if y'all gonna break fast. If y'all ain't gonna break fast, don't get no breakfast, man. Let's go, uh, let's go back to work and go to sleep. All right, see y'all, peace, bye. <laughs>